But I like actually cry about people who aren't Catholic. I'm like really sad for them. And people who don't know Christ at all, of course. Mm. But like, I'll, I'm like, it's so sad that people aren't Catholic or that Catholic people don't know what they believe. Mm-hmm. It's also really sad. Yeah. It's really easy to think of cradle Catholics who just kind of just take take yeah. for granted kind of what they are. Yeah. Oh, I'm just Catholic. Mm-hmm. That's a, like another big reason why, why we started like this podcast and why we've been choosing guests who have that Catholic background who also want to share their faith mm-hmm. to show people like we had a couple of converts on and they talked about how they didn't know what a real Catholic was. Yeah. They heard Catholics. They think of like the older population who are just going to yell at you and just a kneel, stand, kneel, stand, kneel, stand, yell. Like that's all they thought Catholics were. It's like we're so much more than that. Yeah. Especially when you go on pilgrimage with, with people or you, you get to see a Catholic community and you see people at like Franciscan, and Ave Maria. Like it's beautiful. These people are amazing there's so much love for christ and that's what we're just trying to if if one person sees like something that we did and it just something turns in their heart they feel a tug and it's like then we've done our job that's all i look for it's just if we get one person just to think not even convert just to think about it yeah i feel like we've done something yeah i remember so i used to go to um like a non-denominational youth group when i was in high school with my friend um, just because I had more friends there, kind of, and it was really well structured and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But I, I did learn a lot from that. And um, I remember my best friend's mom was one of like the group leaders for the girls, and she said, "You never know like where you're gonna, like how far you're gonna bring someone, and it's not, sorry, <clears throat> it's no, like you're... not your job to know that. Like you might move someone one inch." towards jesus and then they might stay there for like 10 years and then they meet somebody else somewhere that moves them four more inches and like they're getting a little bit closer but you like started them Mm -hmm. or or you got them moving again and it's like that's the thing is like you'll not you're not gonna know in most instances you're not gonna be like oh this person converted because something that i said to them (laughs) you know it's that's not how it works in Mm -hmm. most of the time but um just like keeping that in mind or even when it comes to like people who are Catholic who might be like away from their faith or go to Sunday mass, but haven't been to confession in, you know, right. way too long or, you know, whatever the case may be, just like bring, like bring them like one tiny baby step closer is better than doing nothing. 